Hi Bestie, so we start off with a work from home day uh, and in the morning with the girlies. We haven't seen them in a while, but with Christmas and the New Year's, we only ended up catching up and getting together closer to the end of the month. But that's perfectly fine. We caught up and we were talking about our goals and all that for this year as well. So just catching up, soaking in some sun, and just starting off the year on the right foot. Um, so I have a package here that I've been waiting for months. Well, I've been wanting this bag since last year, but I told myself I couldn't justify it. Then I got a new job, and then I was like, okay, I really want it. But then they were sold out everywhere, and even online. And I had two New York trips, they have a store there, so it's the store Polen. Um, and I've gone twice in person to the store, and each time I called ahead of time and I was like, Hi, do you guys have some in stock? And they were like, yes, we do, but we can't guarantee that like by the time you get here, it'll still be here. And both times I tried, I showed up and they were like, I'm so sorry, we sold someone else. So I pulled the trigger um, and I pre-ordered it. It was supposed to arrive in February, but I guess they got the stock early and they shipped it and it's here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. I have the box. Okay, so I don't know if you guys see, but it's written- No, you guys don't see at all. But it's written Polen down here. I swear it's written Polen, so... It's the moment of truth. It's so cute! Okay. I just need you guys to see this. This is gorgeous. Like, this is how it looks. So, I'm turning it up. No, I'm gonna do this like this first. We can already see a little bit of the bag. And with the wow! dust bag. Isn't she pretty? Sorry. I need I need to take her out. Guys. Guys, come on. She's so pretty! Okay. Ah! I'm so excited, like. Okay. <laughs> and, and we can open it like that. Okay. That's how you... And then like you have it like in a larger format. This is stunning. Oh my god, the leather feels so nice. Guys, I'm speechless. This, this is a dream come true. I'm so excited to start using it. I'll definitely be using it like all week long, so. We'll show you guys. Bye! Okay guys, um, I just had and had to put this in because it was here Ginger's last day with us. Um, we had sold um, Timbit, the little black one, a couple days ago and we thought honestly that we would have ginger and pancakes for a little bit longer um, while we were looking for their for our families um, and we had ended up putting them on Kijiji for uh, up for adoption just to see who would be interested and we had gotten a text from this very nice young lady like honestly she was probably my age and she was so in love with little ginger here and as you can tell like she's passed out so we were doing like videos we were spending time with her we were cuddling her we were watching her sleep and all that just soaking in the last moments that we had with her um and funny enough we were like okay let's focus all of our energy on, on ginger because like you know she's she might be leaving soon tonight um so that's what we ended up doing we spent like a solid i think two hours <laughs> with ginger and then um we actually got another text uh we had both of them posted pancakes and ginger on kijiji and um we suddenly got a text asking about pancakes uh right right there and um we were like of course like this is the information blah 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 then they were like oh is there any chance we could visit today like as soon as possible so um 
we told them as long as they come before 5 because the person visiting Ginger was aiming for either 5.30 or more like 6.7. Who knows? Uh, she was supposed to confirm. And then, so she was like, of course, my kids would also love to come. Um, and they're very excited to meet Pancakes. And so <laughs> suddenly the last three hours where we were spending with Ginger, we are now rushing to also go see Pancakes because he might leave the same day. Um, but yeah, no, like these are probably the last clips of our little babies before they left. Ones on their way to literally visit Pancakes and also later on tonight is gonna visit Ginger so they might leave tonight so Pancakes, this might be your last time on camera. Gingy. Hi. Gingy has until tonight though, I think. I think past seven, six, seven. The pancakes, they're literally on their way. They said 25 minutes, but at least 20 minutes, I think. So, no pancakes might be leaving. Okay, wait guys. I'm here. I want one last shot with all three of us. Because you know, Timbit is already gone. So. <laughs> oh. It's okay. They're gonna go to good loving homes. But yeah, let's see how the visit goes. Hello, hello guys! So today our little date is at Oasis Immersion for a very special exhibition. It's called Dream of Asia and we're very very excited to do this. So Mark and I love museums, we love special exhibitions and um, this one specifically Oasis Immersion, they're often known to do um, digital art. So it's a lot of like screens and stuff like that. And this specific exhibition we we're genuinely very excited because we have a upcoming trip to asia specifically japan and south korea coming right up i've mentioned this uh, a little bit in the past vlog but this that's where we're going and so this exhibition though was more focused on china and japan but it still got us very excited to go to asia like it would be the first time for both of us to to go to asia so we're very very excited um so if you've never been to oasis immersion before it's an exhibition um and it's very audio and visual focus and it's spread out in three different rooms um and okay let me stop you right there three rooms really quick no 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 we actually spent a solid hour and a half uh, throughout the entire exhibition you really sit through every single room to appreciate the music choice and the scenery and how everything comes together um, in the first room specifically we also had rocking chairs which was really nice um, so this entire experience was just very inspiring to kind of get us even more excited as if we weren't already um, for our future trip and it was a nice like um homage to like obviously my asian culture my asian roots um as you can tell i'm like it's so 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 pretty here um but yeah so that asia uh, trip that we have planning a little backstory is i've been wanting to go to asia i didn't care which country i started with but i've been wanting to go to asia since i was around like 16 and I told myself, the deal I made with myself was once I graduate, once I get my bachelor's. However, as you guys all know, COVID hit. So um, with COVID, everything was kind of like shut down. And once I graduated, it was starting to reopen, but everything was still quite restricted. And I didn't want to, you know, fly all the way to Asia and then be restricted by a bunch of like rules. You still have to, you can't do this, you can't do that. Or like there's a limited amount of people or this is still closed you know so i decided to stay and uh, wait it out until they open and lord behold in 2023 they reopened mark and i decided we would love to go together to asia and so the first two countries we're actually going to is going to be japan and south korea and watching this exhibition just kind of like made it 
more real on how close we are to reaching this goal um we were genuinely so excited we've been planning this for months honestly we booked our tickets like six months ago um we've been watching so many vlogs we've been doing so much research um personally as well like we love japanese and korean food and culture and k-dramas and stuff like that like we love watching traveling vlogs to those countries as well so we're hyper hyper we're super excited and we're just so ready for it to come um we're also going (laughs) during cherry blossom season so it's honestly a peak season but i mean hey you gotta do it once in your life right like you gotta go see the cherry blossoms at some point um and we're timing it perfectly so that we go and see it um one they're all blooming in japan and in korea as well so we were very very happy to be able to see this exhibition it just made it so much more oh my god it's so soon oh this part of the exhibition was quite interactive as well so if you stepped around on the ground it would actually have some effects as well which was really cool and here are the famous cherry blossoms that we're gonna see very very soon in person so it really got us excited and we were even more inspired to finalize our trip planning um as you know we're going for a while so between these two countries we're gonna go for around i'd say like a month and a week so we're spreading ourselves out we don't want to just do like rush in one location for one day or two so we're gonna really take our time and do that but yeah overall the exhibition was absolutely stunning lovely as well um obviously i've cut the audio and i haven't shown everything so if you guys are very interested or you know it's your type of thing your type of exhibition like you you love digital art and you're very interested in asian culture highly highly recommend um i think it's still there until the end or mid february don't don't hold me to that but definitely something to check out so we're going to nespresso to get our pods and mark's brilliant idea is we should walk and now we're in a cell dorm so uh, hi guys made it in just ordered and now we're waiting we got six new sleeves one of them limited edition so we're gonna explore that but i just love coming to nespresso because look how cute Anyway, service here is impeccable, and this is why we love coming here. (sighs) It's so cold though, the fact that we have to walk back is criminal. But Mark insists that we practice walking for ages, so I'll show you guys when we get home. Hi guys. (laughs) Angel, come here. So I was gonna do a unboxing of the Nespresso on the counter. But both Sky and Basil insisted on being part of it. So we're gonna do this. So we got six this time. Just because uh, recently wait give me a second. Sorry the battery was about to die. So we got six because recently I've been drinking since the new year matcha every single morning and on occasion only coffee in the afternoon. I noticed it helps break the um, the the crash in the middle of the day. So let's see what we got here. So first but not least, we got Altisio. So these ones are espresso shots, I believe. Um, I remember seeing it somewhere. And it's pretty strong. Um, then we got the Bianco Piccolo. We got the Double Espresso Dolce. This is one of our favorites to do iced coffee. Um, the Bianco Piccolo is also like uh, espresso shots that we like to do. Okay, this is a special edition from the holidays. So it is called Frosted Caramel Nut. Um, very excited to try this. I hope that. We try it. I think we're gonna try it first so that if we do love it, it's limited edition so we can go get more. Um, Then we have the Melozio. This is Mark's choice, I believe. Never tried this one. Um, So 
so we'll figure it out. Then we also have, what's this? The Fortado. Fortado is a stronger coffee. Um, I think also espresso shots, but yeah. We'll restock our coffee cabinet under our Nespresso and then we'll show you guys. A quick coffee restock. There it is. Perfect. Now we're ready for the week to come. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, for this vlog, I also wanted to like, as the new year started, to kind of touch base on the goals that we've achieved. Well, not achieved, but like the progression of our goals so far. Oh, and this is Basil. We've been settling in with her for the last couple days since her last sibling left. And as much as I miss all the kittens, like having one kitten and just Sky gives us more time to like spend with them actually uh, take care of them and stuff like that so i feel like i'm finally soaking in and like spending that time with sky as well as little basil here and if you guys are wondering this is my hoodie reversed and the hood is here and so this is how this is how it works now when i work during the day she's very interested by my hands right now um but yeah so just wanted to hop on here and talk about everything like i briefly touched upon my goals for 2024 um my intentions for them and stuff like that so so far what we're january 16th my saving goals are going really well um i've saved uh, already over a thousand dollars um i'm doing that 100 day challenge so that's going really well it's really fun too like you you, you gamify the saving process so that's really great um, I'm doing no spend January that's been going well as well um, and what I've been doing a lot is journaling this is new so I'm not a journal gal, uh, gal so what I started using is I've been I bought this like two years ago and I just never got to start so the five minute journal I've been doing it every single day and I actually feel um, much better about my days or what to look forward to it really sets the day and it also makes me think of what was positive throughout the day so five minute journal if you guys don't know about it it's literally every day you wake up you say three things you're grateful for three things that would make today great so like what would you like to do today um and a daily affirmation and then at the end of the day you write the three highlights what happened that was really great um and what did you learn and it's very short and sweet like i don't spend an hour on it like it's very five minutes genuinely speaking and i've noticed quite a difference like i'm more prone to starting stuff as well um for example my reading goal 52 books this year i'm on book seven and eight i'm reading both simultaneously because one of the books is um the kingdom of the Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas and my boyfriend is reading it and he finally got to the last book and I absolutely love the last book so I had to reread it with him at the same time I'm reading Atomic Habits and that has been a perfect pairing for January to like have my goals for 24 um, and also have that to kind of build those habits as well I've gone back to being um, active well I'm going back to the gym and it's a hard time to get back into it but I'm trying to set everything up for success. So um, I'm charging my watch again. I'm looking at the fitness app where you see the circles. Like it's very motivating for me anyway. So I'm going to do all these things again. It's all lining up. Um, and so I'm really excited. Uh, therapy wise and stuff like that, it's been going really well. There's one thing I wanted to try. What was it called? EMDR therapy. I've spoken about it with my therapist, she said she'd send me a bunch of referrals as well. So I'm slowly feeling stronger physically as well. Um, I feel better in terms of like mental space and stuff like that. I'm finally feeling myself again. So honestly, 16 days into 2024, I'm feeling great. I feel hopeful, I feel very encouraged, motivated to continue on this path. So very excited about that. I've also been slowly planning Japan, well slowly planning, it's happening very soon. So I'm going to Japan and South Korea. Um, this is the Asia trip. 
my first Asia trip anyway um, that I've been wanting to go since I was 16. So very, very excited. And um, we're planning on the day by day type of thing, like important times that we should be aware of. Like if we booked a ticket for something on a specific day, we did that itinerary type of thing and we left all those like afternoon or mornings that we have nothing planned, like nothing scheduled and stuff like that. We're having that mapped out so that when we are traveling and we see it on our phone, it's just e easier to keep track like what days we need to sleep earlier so that we can make it to that morning thing. Um, so very excited for that. That's going to be in March. Um, it's going to be cherry blossom season as well. So bucket list. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to hop on, chat with you guys a little bit share of how everything's going definitely feel like without the four kittens plus mommy um i was able to feel more rested more energized proper sleep eat properly make time for the gym and now that they're all gone like i know it's sad i'm i still feel very sad i miss them but i get to spend extra time with the little basil here and extra time with um sky as well so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Wow.